watching this video with Yaki, and I just wanted to point towards the beauty of what it means to be a student of the game, a constant learner while being in a position to teach. If you haven't seen Yaki, he teaches health conscious, uh, centered around herbalism, fruits and veggies and organic products and away for, from inflammatory foods. I say he's just like a offspring of Dr. Sebi, someone who takes Dr. Sebi's cellular food uh, philosophy to the next level or the next generation. So doing the due diligence to be able to uh, push that legacy forward and to heal people most importantly. But this video, <clears throat> I just want to show you an example, in my opinion, of what it means to be a true man alongside a true student, alongside somebody holding yourself accountable in all instances. Just listen. Might not be important to you, but this is huge to me in an individual, and this is why I trust information from subjects as such. That too. So, uh, and I wanted to, I wanted to give a shout out and an apology. A shout out and an apology. I wanted to apologize to all of my followers and all of my people. I did a live the other day. Uh, we was talking about celery and we was talking about lemons. Forget the mouth, miss. Uh, <laughs> the mouth being off of the words. It's just YouTube doing that. Listen to the words. Forget the mouth. And uh, amygdala. And I went online uh, and I. Through my live, I said something that I was wrong about. I said that there was no Google or scholarly articles that said that stated amygdala was inside of celery. All right, I was wrong about that. Uh, two people plus the dude that I did the video on all showed me at least one to two articles that actually showed celery with amygdala in it. Now, was the sources credible? I seen one they had a credible source, but when I checked that source, that was pretty kind of iffy. But I did state this though. I said that there wasn't any amygdala in celery and you couldn't find one article that stated that. And I was wrong. I was wrong. Three people sent me an actual article that did state that. Now, I'm not gonna sit on here and argue back on whether the source was credible or not, because that don't matter. What came out of my mouth was something. Somebody showed me something else that proved me wrong. So as a man of my word, as a person that teach health, and as a person that must remain humble, and a student mm. is always a teacher, and a teacher is always a student, I have to come forth and I have to say what it is. So I was wrong in that particular statement, y'all. That's the realest shit I done seen all year. <laughs> because we live in this world of ego where people we, where people be wrong and they'll literally make an excuse. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Or, oh, man, that ain't true. A disbelief, rejecting information, cognitive dissonance, all for the sake of not wanting to own the position of wrongness. Yaki, God body, is apologizing to all his people for being wrong. Showing us the beauty of being wrong when you can accept it and embrace it and allow yourself to grow from your own wrongness. This struck me so hard because my first book ever <laughs> is called The Beauty of Being Wrong. Detailing the beauties of knowing that your perspective might not be true, might not be reality, and is for sure subjective. So... To see a man get up here and admit admit and profess his wrongness and apologize, that is some of the strongest shit one can see in a egotistical, material, status-based, I want to be right as society. So much love to you, y'all keep, keep, keep pushing what you pushing, because it's in regards to the almighty, the highest of consciousness, and that becomes available through the conduit of food and information, all types of information, food is information, and keep doing your Dougie. Keep being pure, because it takes a pure spirited person to admit when they're wrong. It takes a pure spirited person to tell somebody, my bad, I fucked up, I'm sorry. It's the ego-based people who are never wrong. You ever, you ever hear people say that? I'm never wrong. Oh no, you're always in ego. So you never face the wrongness. 
You be wrong. You just too egotistical to realize it. So highest of vibes, much love to Yaki. And like I said, if you on that type of wave, the beauty of being wrong, available now, link in bio. God's doing God things. Peace.